Hello, my friends. Um, we're going to draw a caricature today and things to look out for when drawing kids. Uh, this is an example I, I did of my work back in 2019. We'll see if we can do a little better. Um, with kids, um, they usually have smaller chins and larger um, top of the heads. So let's try it. His T-shape is very long. He's got a longer nose for a kid. So Tom Richmond talks about the T-shape. Here, here's the T-shape. Eyes are usually bigger on kids as well. So this is kind of a, a T-shape that I'm seeing, if you can see that, in the mouth like that. Um, it's got kind of a diamond-shaped uh, head. Like that, and then we'll just go bigger with the head. I just use a color stick for that. Now we use a Crayola marker. And let's jump in, shall we? Okay, eyes are close together. Let me brighten that up for you. Hang on, technical difficulties. I've got to tighten up my easel here. Okay. Hopefully we're all in the frame. Yes, here we go. And the eyes are that kind of uh, classic eye shape. And he does have some eyelashes, defined eyelashes there as well. The eyes are somewhat uh, closed. You don't want to go too heavy with eyebrows on kiddos, unless it's very obvious. And when drawing in black and white, you kind of leave them like that. This eye is a little more closed than the other one. And it's kind of over to the side a little too. All these little things are going to help you with your likeness. It is a windy day here in upstate New York. The wind is howling. Okay, nose. It's got kind of a skinny bridge there. about all we can do for that. Mouth. It's kind of closed like that. This was a uh, Christmas event I did in the mall, the local mall here. I remember it now. I was right in front of a uh, photography store where they had Santa Claus and Santa Claus it was a slow day so Santa Claus we were shooting the you know shooting the breeze and uh, just hanging out a little, a little exaggerated with the head shape which I think I can get away with here it does have one of those long lollipop necks And he does have some larger ears down below, on like the lobe. And ears are lower on kids, generally speaking. So we'll depict that. Not much of a forehead showing. Kind of a neat trimmed haircut. And then, uh, yeah, that's all. And the hair. This is the quick sketch method. This would not be illustration. This would be like for an event. 
you know, my, my, my style. You can do whatever style you want, you know, feel free to practice off of this and we'll shade it in really quick. I think it's a decent likeness. I'm going to use a Neo color for shading. Um, just because I, I got, they don't make the Prismacolor art sticks anymore. So we'll use Neo colors. I kind of like them. A little shading. He's got blondish reddish hair. So don't go too crazy with the dark. Just here and there. And that would be acceptable. Inside the ear, if you want a color. Under the nose. There's going to be a shadow there. And uh, at the neck, too. And he's got one of those unique style chins, if you look close. Where it's kind of a indentation there. Sometimes I do little highlights on the the cheeks like that but nothing too crazy and then uh i do a border and i would sign it and date it there and uh something like that let me step back here and look yeah that's a decent likeness i hope you learned something Smaller chins, bigger top of the heads, bigger eyes, and the ears are lower, generally speaking, Ooh, on kids. I uh, hope this helped you. Um, Tom Richmond's book is, is a good book to get. Here it is, The Mad Art of Caricature, and also Keelan Parham's book, which I do have. But it is underneath a whole bunch of other stuff, and if I go to grab it, it's everything's going to fall. Or maybe not. Here it is. Hang on. I lied. Uh, this book is really good. Pardon me. And I'll show you one more after this as well. Pardon me. The artist's studio is usually messy. So this is a good book to get by Keelan Parham. Go get that if you're starting out and then get the Tom Richmond book. They're both really good, but Tom's book is a little more in depth. Have a good one. See ya.